Good morning, Castle and Village School. This is Mr. Hall. I had to come into school this morning, so I thought we would do our announcements um, from my office today, give you a little bit better backdrop than that storage room from yesterday. Anyway, it is 8.31 in the morning on Wednesday, March 25th, and here are your morning announcements. First of all, let's talk about some fun holidays going on today. Today is Waffle Day. I absolutely love waffles. I find them far superior to pancakes. Uh, they have those wonderful pockets on top that the syrup sits in. Waffles are great. If you have not had breakfast yet, waffles would be a really good choice today. Um, also, Tolkien Reading Day today. That's in reference to J.R.R. Tolkien, who is uh, the author of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, if you've never read those books, today would be a perfect day to start. Um, that would be a big chunk of reading for you to do while at home. Uh, the Lord of the Ring books are are really great, um, but would probably take you a while to read. So I think today would be a perfect day to try to figure out if you can get some access to uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy and start reading those books. Um, they are books, not just movies, if you didn't know. Uh, let's take a look at weather. Looks pretty similar to yesterday. It's going to be a little bit warmer. Um, again, we're looking at 1 to 5 p.m. as our uh, sweet spot, if you will. Um, it's going to be over 40 until 7 o'clock if all goes well, so that's really nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to get up into the mid-40s for a high this afternoon. Should be a great day to get outside and get some fresh air. Remember, we do have to stay home. We don't necessarily have to stay indoors. Um, get out there, soak up the sun, get some of that vitamin D going. Always a good idea and good for your immune system. So don't forget about that. Um, big thank you to everyone who's been participating in our challenges so far. Remember, if you participate in our challenge each time, each challenge you participate in, your name is going to be entered into a big prize drawing at the end of these two weeks. And uh, again, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more when we get closer about what those prizes are. But trust me, they're going to be fantastic. Um, so thank you to everyone who has participated so far. If you haven't participated so far, we look forward to your participation in the coming days. Um, we did post some of our submissions from our first challenge, um, which was the Clean Up Green Up Challenge. We have some more submissions that we need to share with you later today. Uh, later today, we'll also be sharing some of our submissions for the Create Something Awesome Challenge. We got some really great stuff, thanks to everybody. Um, we got things from, from drawings to a fort in the woods. Um, and I think there was even a snowman submission. So we'll be sharing those on our Facebook page later today. And a big, big thank you to everyone who's been sending those in. That's been, that's been a lot of fun. So thanks a lot. And remember, this is not just for students, staff members. You know, if you want to get involved with these challenges, I will definitely throw your name in the drawing. Uh, we want to see what you, you all can come up with, too. So, um, new challenge coming at you right now is this. We are introducing the Grateful Challenge today. Uh, we want to hear from you. What are you grateful for in your life right now? Uh, we know we're all in a bit of a tricky, sticky situation. Um, you know, but uh, it's a great time to focus on on the things we're grateful for, the things we do have, um, and the things that are going well for us. We all have something to be grateful for. So uh, go ahead and, and post those to Mrs. Jackson's Google Classroom, or you can feel free to email them to uh, Mrs. Jackson or myself. And what we're going to do with all of these submissions is we are going to take them and create a really cool... Uh, visual graphic with them um, through uh, a program called Poll Everywhere. But anyway, we will we'll take these and we'll make a really cool visual and we'll share that out and then we'll actually um, print a big one out and have it hanging in the front hallway uh, whenever we're able to return to school. So um, please participate in this challenge. Uh, it's going to be a really cool final product that we'll share out with all of you once we're done. Um, and we're really looking forward to, to seeing what everyone's feeling grateful for. That should be a really uh, uplifting activity to do. So 
please participate. Remember, our theme of the month here at CVS is good sportsmanship. So this is a great way to be a good sport is to participate in these challenges every day. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day today. Um, we miss you, and uh, we hope everyone's doing well. Stay safe, and we'll be back on tomorrow.